Welcome back to the Roger Hedgecock Show here at the Aramco uh, Group Studio at UTTV. Here's a headline I liked in the, uh, in the New York Times a, a while back here. Perfect 10? Never mind that. Ask her for her credit score. Now, I don't know, when I was dating, a long time ago, but when I was dating, this uh, didn't occur to me to actually inquire about the financial background of, um, um, of people I was dating. And apparently today, and I guess, you know, in this recession, I'm not too surprised, this happens to be an issue. So we've got some experts here to talk about it. And, uh, and Robin Stark is with us. What is this, uh, Stark, Starkland to, uh, Cellars? Starkland Cellars, yes, I'm a consultant for wine collectors. So I work with Wonderful. collectors all over the country. I've got a new software thing going on in my, and, and, and it kind of Cellar tra tracker. tracks my, exactly. Yep, that's what I do. Put people it's up another, in that software. It's another technological barrier for me, but I'm trying to overcome <laughs> we'll it. We'll talk wine some other time. Dan, Dan Brazo is here from the Union Tribune and Michelle Guerin. You guys are in the social scene all the time, and you're covering the social scene and the mm -hmm. entertainment scene and oh, yeah. the cultural scene and all that stuff. Does this headline surprise you? Let's start with you, Michelle. Does this headline surprise you? Actually, no. I was laughing because my boyfriend, actually, he has an alert on his phone when something happens to my credit score. <laughs> so we're like the perfect case study for this story. It's he has life funny. lock, right? I mean, he has life lock on your accounts. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I mean, not like behind my back. It's no, something but you know about he it. helps me to manage it and he communicates the importance. This is sure. added value. It is. It is. <laughs> this is fun. Well, and, 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 yeah, and I'll get to you, Dan, in a minute. But, Robin, what, what about that? Have you been asked? I mean, you're out dating. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been single for 12 years. I yeah. got divorced in uh, 2001. Okay. And, and you're out there. I'm out there. And How's I don't. How's the dating pool these days? <laughs> not bad, not bad, Mr. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Although, you know, what I would say is in the, ever since 2008, I have really met some men who appear to have some means. They often are ex-attorneys or financial services people or mortgage brokers, and they seem to be doing okay, and it's not till a month or two into the relationship when you find out. Oops. Yeah. They're living on fumes. Are you asking now? I was How kind of surprised by that this? article. Yeah. They ask on the first date, what's your credit score? Yeah, that's a little yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little like, bold. It's um, a buzzkill as far as I'm concerned. What's yeah. your credit score? I mean, yeah. first of all, who knows yeah. their credit score? This is Do you know your credit score? My boyfriend does. He does. <laughs> yeah. He's taking care of that. Yeah. I can see you've kind of outsourced that issue. To yeah, I've become very aware of it probably in the past year, year and a half of the significance of it and the changes. We're um, actually just bought a home. Oh. So that's kind of obviously one of the main reasons why. Yeah, that's you, you do know that because mm -hmm. of that. Now, Dan, mm -hmm. do you know your credit score? No, I do not. No, I do not. Not there. Who knows? You? All right, <laughs> exactly. So, so, all right. So, you're dating. Mm -hmm. You have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Have you asked about her credit worthiness? I'm more on the don't ask, don't tell side of things because <laughs> I know mine. So this is a wise man. <laughs> right off the bat, I like this. Typical Sandy Epic guy. <laughs> exactly. I know mine is not going to be stellar, so I don't expect anything outstanding from whoever I'm dating. I mean, if they're not horribly in debt just visually, then that's like fine enough for me. But on the surface, but yeah. you don't know. I mean, I, like, I truly really don't. You mean like if like the repo Robin. man doesn't show up exactly. during the middle of the day? Exactly. That's a bad sign. That's yeah, a no repo. <laughs> the car. It's obviously a bad sign. <laughs> that would be a yeah. very bad sign. So none of that's happened. But do you wonder sometimes about what, if you got Definitely. married to somebody, obviously in a community property state, you're going to assume yeah. the debts. Mm -hmm. Certainly. You don't even know what those debts are. Okay. Certainly. At some point, you're going to ask. Yes, at some point, I will definitely ask. But at this stage in my life, it's not on the top of the list of, of my priorities at all. I mean, the article kind of makes me article. think about it a little bit more, yeah. but not in a way that's like hugely important for me. I think, th I think the main Rob. thing about that article was that it showed you that there's a big tie between fiscal responsibility and character. Okay. And if someone is spending beyond their means, that, that probably shows something else about them. That Sometimes people get in financial problems not due to their own fault, right? I mean, they get fired and then they had mm -hmm. big payments and they can't make them and the house gets... I'm sure health concerns. Health concerns know. could do it. Of course, of course. Yeah, and, and it's not always character. Gee, you're judgmental. Believe me, I'm not asking dates, credit okay. scores, but <laughs> when, you meet, when you meet someone and you know they have 10000 or $20,000 in credit card debt, you Oops. know there's a Oh, yeah, no, I'd be gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because if, if their first question is, do you have a job? <laughs> And are you making money? Well, there's a lot of people in this town with jobs, but that doesn't mean they're making any and, money. And that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. But you're, so see, now you've got this deal where you go out to, out to these guys with the wine cellars, so you know that they've got some money. Otherwise, they wouldn't have a wine cellar. 
Oh, a lot of what I do is liquidating wine cellars for uh, divorces I'll and that be, type of thing. I'll be talking to you about some bargains in that regard. Yeah. So what are the other no-no's if you're out there dating these days that you maybe don't want to do on the first date? I think we're coming to the conclusion that you don't want to ask the credit score on the first date. That's a little much. What else do you think is a no-no that you don't want to hear on a first date? I don't want to hear about politics on a first date. Probably that, the wrong answer to tell you. No, you know, I don't want to hear. <laughs> when I'm out socializing, I don't want to hear politics. And now, this right? is many years after the first date, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear about it either. Mm -hmm. Good grief. I get enough of this, you know, when I'm talking about it professionally. Right. What, what do you not want to hear on a first date? Honestly, the first thing that came to my mind was what Michelle had to say. I mean, in some ways, politics say a lot about what kind of person they are, if they're far left or far right, especially on those extreme side of things. But um, yeah, save it to date three, four. You know, yeah. doesn't need to be the first topic. It's a get to know you item down the list then. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it does give you some idea because compatibility is an issue, right? And Definitely. if somebody's on the mm -hmm. other side of the political spectrum, that may not work. Mm -hmm. I don't know. For a long time, my wife and I canceled each other's vote. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm, you know, I only... Fifteen years, my husband and I didn't vote because we just knew it was going to cancel. Just it cancel it out. <laughs> you know, yeah, actually, we did go and vote. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the perfect 10, never mind that, ask for her credit score. I guess these are the times we live in where these kinds of financial things do become a larger issue when mm -hmm. you're looking for uh, dates or a mate. Yeah. So how's this new girlfriend working out there? It's six months deep at this point. That's pretty deep. Yeah. For my age, mid-20s. That's what I'm thinking. Definitely. Yeah. I'm thinking six months. How much is the percentage of your life now? Is it this? <laughs> it's all proportional. It's a 50th, yes, a 50th yes. of my life. That's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, we are. <laughs> Uh, so, Robin, anyone serious at the moment? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm actually in a relationship, and uh, I think the financial uh, situation was very important to us. And so you did get that off out in front? Yeah, he, we both are retired. We both own software companies, and then we sold them, and um, we both live very much within our means, and uh, we're not... Good sign. Yeah, good we're not, start. We're not crazy that way, and All right. we've both been in All relationships. Right. Where not very romantic, different. but a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> and Michelle, you're off to a great start because you've outsourced the whole th worry about all that to exactly. your boyfriend. Exactly, I have someone to do Doing all alerts. of that for me. And alerts on it. <laughs> See, well, I think, I, I, love the I think that when you come out of you know your post college life and you get to be in the working world, there does it come a point when you realize how important it is because if you this is a little lesson for you, Dan. Thank you. Got a few years Thank on you here. That's right. So you ignore it for a while. Might have some college loans, this and that. You don't want to think about it. But whenever you realize you do, it takes a very long time to reverse those five or ten years where you didn't learn about it. Well, no question about, about that. Mm -hmm. That's a really good w word for younger people to understand. Mm -hmm. They get out of college with all that debt and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. it's, it was really easy. <laughs> Yeah, well, you, you want to be oh, carefree yeah. and not worry about the stuff when you're young yeah. and having fun. I'm still, I'm not like, oh, little Dan. No, I mean, <laughs> I, everyone struggles with <laughs> it. Um, but what I have learned the past few years is what the steps you have to take to reverse that. And it's not as easy as you think to just turn it around. No, it sure isn't. It's like mm -hmm. having that bad semester where you got D's and F's and now you got to mm -hmm. get that GPA oh, yeah. back up, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Michelle, Dan, and Robin, thanks so much for coming in. It's a good topic. I appreciate you being Thank here. You. Thanks. Thanks.